Okay, so some extension activities because there's this quiz is not perfect by any means and I'm sure many of you have got some ideas or how you'd like to make it better. So I'm going to give you a couple of things that you might want to do. Um, first of all, what I would like to do is I'd like to make sure that people learn from the quiz and that they get have to get the answers right rather than just whizzing straight through and it doesn't really matter if they get the answers wrong. So at the moment, we look at our code, and I hope that you can work out how to do this. It's very straightforward. At the moment, when our, somebody gets the answer wrong, here's our subroutine for wrong down here. So what happens is that message box pops up saying that's wrong, Bob, or whatever the user ID is. It adds, it runs the subroutine add root, wrong answer, and then it moves on. It says here, active presentation, slideshow window, view next. And so that moves it on to the next slide. So what do we have to do in order to get them to answer the question correctly? We have to, worked it out? Yes, I'm sure you have. All we have to do is remove that part of the code. Now we've not told it to move on to the next slide. And so because we've not told the computer to move on to the next slide, it shouldn't actually move on. So let's get the first question wrong. That's wrong, Bob. And we're on the same slide. So that has worked. If I get all of the other ones correct now, you'll see what it will have done to the percentage. So the percentage has now changed. And we've got lots of decimal places and far too much information. So an improvement would to be would be to get rid of that uh, decimal, those decimal places. So if we go back into the basic Visual Basic editor, uh, the reason that we're seeing that now is because um, in here our final score, um, our calculation here, which is the number correct, the total number of questions answered, is no longer just four, i.e., the number of questions in the quiz, because it is how many goes you have had at it. It's the number correct plus the number wrong. And of course, you could be getting the number wrong, could be two, three, four times. So, all we want to do is to round up this calculation. So, if I remind you of this calculation, the number correct divided by the total number of questions answered, although now it's actually the total number of goes you've had at the questions, multiplied by 100. That's your percentage. So, identify your calculation, and then before your calculation, you just want to put in the word round. Then the brackets, you see we get a little bit of assistance here, saying number, which is the calculation. We've got quite a long calculation. Our calculation ends here. And then we need to have a, after the calculation, there's a comma, and then it says number of digits after the decimal as long. And what that means is how many decimal places do you actually want to show? So if I put comma zero, then that should give me no decimal places. Right, I've said press save and I've got a red, uh, it's highlighted in red, so something is wrong. So what is wrong? What is wrong is that I'm missing a bracket because I added an extra bracket here before the uh, number correct. So I'm missing a bracket, let's see if that's right. Okay, so that looks like it'll go now to uh, no decimal places. And you could choose one decimal place or two decimal places. So let's get some wrong and let's get some right. And let's hope that this has worked. 67%, so no longer all of those decimal places. So that's a little bit more useful. So that's something you could try yourself.